1939, on the eve of World War II, Joseph Stalin and German dictator Adolf Hitler signed a non-aggression pact. He launched an invasion of Finland. Then, in June 1941, Germany broke the Nazi-Soviet pact and invaded the USSR. Stalin joined forces with the Allies to combat the invading Nazis. After the World War II had ended, Stalin's public appearance decreased drastically. We all have a quick idea when we hear the name Stalin, communist dictator, man of steel, successor of Lenin, but what did the people at that time recognize him as? We have seen propaganda of Joseph Stalin being praised and loved, but was that really how the people felt? Who was Stalin through the eyes of Russian people? To solve the mystery of Stalin's reputation, we're going to need to look at some information. The Wright Museum of Art has, holds many collections of pieces of history, including propaganda. I was able to grab hold of a propaganda poster from the Soviet Union. The poster illustrates Stalin as someone of a father or godlike figure. Its, pur its purpose was most likely to force the people's attention away from religion and have to worship Stalin instead. The Russians were forced to believe and accept this propaganda. Interestingly enough, most of the propaganda posters that promote Stalin came around about five to seven years after Stalin gained power. If the purpose of the poster was, or was to control the people's opinions on Stalin, the people in Stalin's early years must have seen him differently than later on. It seems we have to find out how the people saw him in the beginning, how that changed later on. True. Hey, the poster was able to give me some information on how Russians were forced to see Stalin as someone of father. I, I was also able to find that the people's opinions changed after a couple of years when Stalin began ruling. But I couldn't find any information on what the people thought of Stalin. However, I do think there's an expert on the history of the Soviet Union somewhere in Moscow that can help you find some information. They may even hold some letters and poems written by people when Stalin was in power. I think that would be a good lead. All right, I'm on. I'm in Moscow to meet Misha, who is a doctor of the Soviet Union history. She has studied the effects of Stalin's region in Russia and is able to help us find out how the people saw Stalin. Yep. Stalin is a very unique dictator. In the beginning, Stalin was a very charming leader and he was for a majority of his leadership. He simply started many violent events and still acted the same to the people. I have hold of experts of a memoir written by a Soviet about their life under Stalin. His name was Evgeny Yatutushenko. And in his memoir, he states, I wanted to catch sight of Stalin. I was filled with the terrible envy of those children my age, lucky enough to be chosen to hand bouquets of flowers to Stalin and whom he gently patted on the head. There was no doubt that Stalin, ex Stalin exercised a sort of hypnotic charm. So the people actually admired Stalin. But what happened after that? When Stalin started his purges, he knew that the people's opinions would change. He started to spread propaganda posters a lot more and had his cult of personality take off. Stalin's purges focused on people who seemed to oppose him. Three million people were accused and sent to gulags. His purges broke the people's spirits, and now people were completely dependent on the state. The people's love for Stalin wasn't as natural as it was before. Not too long ago, a Soviet immigrant described his life under Stalin and published it so the world could see how the perceived Russia at that time. He says that the propaganda was ever-present, beginning with kindergarten. It came through books, radio, songs, and school. People pretended to believe it in order to avoid suspicion of being disloyal. The people's opinions on Stalin were pretty negative when all of these changes happened, but as time passed, people were reverting back to adoring Stalin. The next generation of children would live nearly their entire lives under Stalin. They were taught communist ideas and were also taught about praising Stalin. They would soon grow up and their children would also praise Stalin. It is simply incredible how Stalin changed from a caring leader to a ruthless dictator in such a successful manner. The idea of people worshipping him and the aspect of exclusive to Stalin is really creative. What possibly um, inspired Stalin to create um, the cult of this? To answer that, we're going to have observed Stalin before he started ruling and all the way back to his childhood. As a child, Stalin had a strong relation with religion. Stalin was enrolled in a church school and was able to graduate despite many interruptions. His mother wanted him to grow up and become a priest. However, Stalin rebelled and became an atheist. His change to atheism 
may have motivated him to create his own cult so people would not be able to choose any religion to follow and will have to worship him instead. Hey, this case has been really interesting. We've been able to get such an over the side of someone in history. Alright, what have we found now? Okay, so as you said, the people being on Stalin's change after a couple of years when he came, um, when he became in charge. Um, in the beginning, um, the people looked up to Stalin, really captivated by his charm. As you can see, Stalin had really good relationships with the people he would interact with them. Very cool. How did that change? Um, a minor detail would be that Stalin had a pretty um, negative relationship with um, religion as a child, which may have motivated him to make his cult. Epic. This knowledge just shows how such a great dictator Stalin was. He was able to control the people's thoughts on him. It's almost like he planned it all of it out. If you were to ever wonder who were the most successful dictators, Giuseppe Stalin would be at the very top.